Scary Night by Chatrice Beza. As I got ready to go to bed, I kissed everybody goodnight and went upstairs. I stepped into my bedroom. It looked very dark and the owls were hooting mournfully. My bed was cold. I felt scared. It feels spooky, I said to myself with a shudder. I went into the cupboard to get a flashlight to defend myself against anyone who could possibly come into my room. I pushed my head under the pillow and clutched the flashlight tightly. A few minutes went by. Then, was it my ears deceiving me or did I hear howling? I listened carefully. I did hear it and it was in my own bedroom. I peered from under the pillow cautiously. My heart was beating so hard I could feel it coming up my neck. I saw two white things that looked like ghosts. I screamed, Mommy! Then one of them came near the bed. I took up the flashlight and hit it on his head. I expected my flashlight to hit empty space, but it landed hard on his head. I realized that it was a person and not a ghost. I got very angry and pulled the sheet off their heads. It was my own brother and sister. How dare you! I shouted. They laughed. How dare you! I screamed. He did it to scare you, Johnny said. Both of you are just disgusting! I shouted. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat, Amy jeered. I stormed downstairs and told my mom and she called them down and said, No television, no friends over for the week, no computer. Oh, and you will go to bed early at 7.30 before Chatrice. As I went upstairs, I taunted them. Early birds, early birds. Chatrice, my mother called from downstairs. I sped into my bedroom and slept peacefully. <laughs>